Alright, now I know what you're thinking. Why is Stockton such a weird place for airlines to serve in California? Now, it mostly comes down to where it lies within the state. It's right in the middle of the Central Valley, which does have a good amount of people, but it's really not that far from Sacramento, which has a pretty big airport, and it's really also not that far from Oakland and Fresno, which also have pretty big airports. Now one thing that I know a lot of you guys are going to come back with is that Allegiant loves to fly out of small markets near bigger cities to save their own costs. Now Stockton is the 13th most populated city in California and it's also a major shipping hub so those are the two biggest reasons I could see for people to go there. That being said, Sacramento, Oakland, and Fresno all have a significant amount of Allegiant flights. So Stockton was just an additional city they felt they had to fly into and I have to know why. Now this is one of the times that I'm glad to be a pilot because the drive from the Bay Area out to Stockton can take two to four hours depending on traffic, but in this airplane we'll be there in about 20 minutes and when we tie it down, we're right across from the terminal. Now Stockton is primarily served by Prime Air delivering packages for Amazon, but as far as their passenger service goes, they've actually been served by Allegiant since 2006 flying to Vegas, and Allegiant's tested out some other destinations from here as well that have not lasted, including a 757 on Allegiant out to Honolulu back in uh, the early 2010s that didn't last very long. United also tried Stockton to LA on a CRJ200, and that one also only lasted a couple months, so if any of that is a testament to the passenger loads here at Stockton, I guess we'll find out soon. Now most people know that while Allegiant charges for a check bag, they also charge for a carry-on bag. They also charge to reserve a seat, and they charge for all kinds of stuff like that. In addition, however, they do charge you if they have to print your boarding pass at the airport, and a lot of this is to reduce the lines at the airport so that you can get it for free on your phone or print it from your computer, and reduces the amount of people having to wait at the ticket counter when they show up. Now one thing you'll notice about Stockton's terminal that you may have seen on the outside clip is that it's got this old building that looks like it's been here since about the 80s. And then they've got a newer building past security that was built in the early 2000s once the airline service became more normal of a thing. Now they're past security, you can see some of the new building that I was talking about. Now I am somewhat surprised they do have like a bar slash restaurant in here for people to eat at, not just vending machines, which is pretty nice considering there's only a few flights a day that actually depart from this airport. That being said, our flight was delayed and there was nothing really to do past security, so I actually left security, hung out around the airport and walked around a little bit before going back through security to get on the flight. There is actually a real sit-down restaurant upstairs as well as a quick grab restaurant that should be opening shortly though. So there is some places to kill time here. Now on Allegiant there is no such thing as free food or drinks whatsoever, but you can take a look at the in-flight menu to see what the offerings are, but you'll see even the sodas and the pretzels and stuff like that still cost money here on Allegiant. I was once able to get a free cup of ice from the flight attendants when I was super thirsty, but that's pretty much all you're going to get from them. And here's me fashionably showing up as the last person on board this flight here to Phoenix.
not kidding when I say I tried to figure out the whole flight why the safety car said Germany in the top left here. Finally, I asked a flight attendant on the flight back why, and apparently it's just because they're printed in Germany, which is a lot more boring than I was hoping for. For those of you guys that don't know, Allegiant sponsors the Las Vegas Raiders football stadium, and so you can get a cheap package if you book flights, hotels, and tickets. Unfortunately, the most expensive game is when my San Francisco 49ers are going down there for New Year's. Instead, we're going to hop on a flight up to Vegas and take a flight from Vegas back to Stockton a little bit later. Welcome to the fabulous Las Vegas airport. We have made our flight over here and it's time to get on our flight back up to Stockton.
Now, if gambling is your thing, just know that it doesn't stop once you get to the airport, because as soon as you're through TSA, you can see slot machines in just about every part of this airport. say if you do have some time to kill in the Las Vegas airport, go to the end of any of the wings. Most of them got pretty good views of the Las Vegas Strip and some airplanes flying by while you're killing some time. comical that the second the airplane stopped at the gate, these mechanics hopped off their red truck and went directly onto the airplane.